All right, guys, I'm at this house. As you can see, the contractor or landscaper, or the contractor told the landscaper to put this new piece he wanted to widen out the driveway. And he told the guy, found out later, legal to watch out this snow melt. I just put this here, trying to locate it, and I'm glad I did. This is temporary, but anyways. Check this out. He hit it. Looks like a saw blade. Cement saw blade. Wonder why the machine was always running. It never worked. Well, I'm glad I pinpointed it. I would never use half inch. I would always go three quarter. But yeah. So I'm gonna fix it. I'll take this off. Don't have so many joints. Choppy here. Join it there. Join it there. And we're good. And then I gotta do something inside, put a auto fill. Just use the chipper of the machine. I was able to savage a couple of these. So masonry guy just has to fill this up. I try to avoid doing the new freshly cement which I did and I got it because I figured the old driveway was here and I was right I'm glad I lo located it pretty quick as you can see it was a big leak so it wasn't hard when I put the water on I'll show you guys inside so this is the boiler that's supplying it the way I'm filling this up right now is from the hot water tank I use these washer hoses. I have a little coupling here. Attach two up and I just add it to the feed there. But they don't have an auto feed, a glycol feed here. So I'm gonna install one of those as well, put an auto feed. So if there's any air to replace, it'll just feed it by itself, some glycol. And we have glycol on standby. Right now you have nothing. Kind of messy the way they did it, but hey, I guess to each his own. Hmm. Let's see if you guys can see this. Using a fractometer, and this tells you exactly how much glycol is in the system. I'm trying to go to 50%, it tells you the Fahrenheit on the right. Fahrenheit, what's it good for, and how much percentage. All you do is put a little bit on top of here and look through the light. Make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Let's take a look. Okay. There you go. 40, can't see from here, but it's probably around 41, 43%, which is good for, I don't know, minus 25 probably. Alright guys, so I'm filling out my snow melt loop. Obviously I can't use that for a big loop, I'll just burn it out. So I got this pump. Supply. Going in. Going back. Going one loop at a time. So now it's this loop, I went from here on. I'm gonna close this one soon. First I'm gonna open this, I then close this. And then keep on going in all the air out. And then eventually I open up all, let it run a bit. Then I'm gonna open up all my manifolds right now. I have this uh, closed off and pressurized because I aired them out already. I'm gonna open them all up, let it run, it should be good.
so that there's no controls. We ran two lines for the plumbing. And then the plumber does the rest, obviously. We just give him the heat and he does all the rest. Open this one. Close this one. Oh, thanks for not. So we only got flow in here. Now arrow. What's your love? I don't know. A lot of air in this one. Alright, so all my loops are open. But I got my main robot closed. My main manifold, the main manifold pump, everything is closed, so I'm going leave that closed. People to the porch at the back, getting full. See the point, no air. It's a pretty good rate, it works. 